So here I am, I'm taking the cover off. Um, the side that has the power switch is the master side, so I always do that one first. I'm not sure why. All the screws come out and lift the cover off gently. If you have a brand new board, one of the holes will be covered by a warranty sticker, so you have to take that off. And you unplug the cables and there they go. Now I'm going to take out the controller board, uh, loosen up all the wires first, remove them. The motor wires have this sort of black foamy insulation around them. It's a bit of a trick to get them apart. Just push the black material backwards. Four screws to take out the controller board and just pop straight off. What I need to do here is add a header, uh, not at the microcontroller but at the remote which is the second one across uh, so I'm going to take this over to my bench and just put a four pin header on there here I am back again Oopsie. now you can see the yellow header in here it's just four pins and that's going to be where I mount the Bluetooth module once it's all back in again so now I just put it all back in again in the reverse order it's pretty hard to get the cables in the wrong way around they're all uh, different and um, they're polarized so it's hard to get them back to the front yeah if you find the right cable cover them up with a little foamy stuff make sure those power wires the motor wires are in there really firmly and then what I like to do is once I put the battery back in is plug in the power switch and just check it beep yep see that worked just fine so now I'm going to do step one of the programming. The first thing you need to do is you need to uh, disable the read-only bit um, and you use the STM programmer tool for that. You just download it from the site, unplug it in, uh, it connects and it goes to read it. It gives an error that says, hey, look, I can't read this. The read's failed. And you go, that's okay. I'm just going to go over here to the third button down here. Expand the read-only. Uncheck the box. Hit the apply, and this time we get agreed. All good. So now it's ready to program. So we get rid of this. Um, we now bring in the uh, Keel program, or how it's pronounced. Um, just showing the files here. This is my Hugs pr Hugs program from my repo. Hit the button. Um, see this. Uh, do the download at the bottom there. If it doesn't download quite often, you need to just unplug it and plug it back in again. So now it's ready to go. So now I'm going to just put the cover back on again. Uh, get all the cables in. The on off switch. And the charging cable. Oh yeah, I hit the button here. And if you program it correctly, when you hit the button, when you turn it on it'll go beep, when you turn it off it'll go uh, or something like that and that you know it's good. Yep, thumbs up. Excellent. So now I'm showing you how we'll connect in the Bluetooth module. So this is my prototype. I'm making a little circuit board to replace all of this. But right now it's just a... Um, what is it? It's a um, HM10 module with a little cable on it. it got the pinouts right so they get the five, the ground, the transmit, the receive. <coughs> and here's my prototype remote control that has the equivalent Bluetooth module on it. I'm going to pop the battery out here, let the, let the Bluetooth completely disconnect and then when I plug it in you'll see the little red LED come on. Right there, bing! And there's a matching one that comes on instantly on the other end. That tells you it's paired. So now I'm just going to move the joystick here just to verify that my wheel is running. There we go. This is set up for a disabled child, so it's really pretty slow. <coughs> All right, what's left is just to replace the other side. Do the same thing, disconnect it. You don't need to put the header on, just need to take the cover off, do the program, and it's good to go. So tie the wires together put the cover back on. Basically just need to 
take the screws off the other side, put the header, uh, you don't have to put a header in, you just have to plug in the connector and um, program it. Um, you do need to take the read-only protect off like you did last time. So the only other trick with putting the cover back on is if you didn't pay attention when you took it off, you may not have noticed that there were actually two different kinds of screws. Uh, there were cylindrical um, machine screws types and then pointy wood screw types. Uh, one's for going into the aluminum, one's for going into the plastic. So when the cover goes on, uh, the pointy screws go on the outside four corners. And then just get the cover put back in here, plug in the LEDs, furthest away from the battery input, plug in the power switch, and then plug in the charging cable. So I'm going to show you the two screws types now. Um, the pointy ones that look like a wood screw go in the two holes closest to the wheel and the two holes closest to the center pivot. And they are machine screw and pointy screw. Typically if you put the machine screw in the wrong hole it won't go in so I do them first, do all the middle, the four middle holes.